welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my channel focuses on fashion and travel and beauty. <laughs> my name is Tanika, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about the Kate Dupe. What is the Kate Dupe, you might say? So I am probably the only person I personally know, but I'm sure there are people out there that have a $3,500 dress. Yes, yes, a $3,500 dress. I don't know what I was thinking either. So about a year ago, I actually purchased this gray backless it has like a mock turtleneck dress from Kate. I wore it to Milan Fashion Week. I've worn it out. I actually wear it way more than I post about it. And I definitely, like, I don't, I, I was going to say I definitely get my cost per wear, but I think the issue is, can you really get your cost per wear for a dress that costs $3,500? Now, I will say this. The quality of this dress is impeccable. It is impeccable. It is kind of thin-ish at the top, but you can still tell it's high quality and it's meant to be thin at the top. I do worry some days about the straps, but let, let's just, let's just say I found a dupe. Allegedly, allegedly, I found a dupe that is $60. I actually, I kind of found two dupes. I, I found the commence version and i have all three and the target so we are going to compare the kate 3500 dress to the commence 60 dollars dress to the target 35 dollars. i think it's 35 dollars. it might be 40 dollars. don't quote me let's get into all three uh -uh. commence is like a deeply fast fashion i think it's probably like Temu, shein it's one of those brands that I don't know if they'll be around in a few years, but they're going to make a lot of money because, you know, they're doing, they're, they're churning out stuff fast. Now it took a brand a year to do this over a year. So this, let's just, let's just go based on weight. Let's go based on weight. This is the commence dress. Just so you have a comparison. And this is the Kate dress. <laughs> like, you see, one is like super thin, and one, the material is super, super heavy. This is going to be done after one, maybe two washes. It's good for an internet outfit of the day. It's good for a reel. It's not good for real life. This is good for real life. Do you understand the difference? Now, it's a dupe, and I want to share it if you're looking for the aesthetic, if you're looking for the vibe. Now, me, I want the aesthetic, the vibe, and the lifestyle. So, for me, I'm going with the cake. Now, if I were on a budget, I would get into the commence one. Let's talk about it. First of all, the commence one is backless, just like the cake one. They're both backless. They both have these, like, thin straps. Um, I'm short and I have like a short, allegedly, I'm 5'3", allegedly. Ooh. Um, and so I tie my straps up. I didn't tie the straps here, but the straps are pretty like similar. I will say this. I was surprised that it had the like, you know, Kate line in the middle. You can see here the shades are different. You can also probably see the quality difference. Like this one is jersey material and this one is like a higher quality cotton, it's wool, like two totally different materials. Like if I saw these in person, I would definitely, I could tell the difference. But again, I'm like the only person that probably could tell because I actually seen the K in person. Most people have not actually seen the K in person. Another thing you will notice about the K is that it has these like snaps. Um, that's how it ties around the neck. This one, I had to put my neck in. You know, I had to put my neck in. Okay. Um, this also, the back is actually lower than the Kate's and it doesn't actually, so even though it's jersey material, see, look at the qualities. Mm. It doesn't actually suck in the way that I want it to. You know what I mean? It's like, there's like a little gap. 
Um, but it's super long. It's not as long as the Kate's. The Kate's is way longer. Also, the Kate one is super bottom heavy. This is not as body heavy. But again, if you've never seen the Kate, if you've never touched the Kate, the quality of this, you'll be like, oh, this is high quality. This is, I wouldn't say you would say it's high quality. But like, I don't think you could tell the quality difference unless you saw the Kate and touched the Kate. That's the thing with luxury items. I said this on TikTok. Once you go luxury and you can sustain it, it's very hard to go back. Um, I obviously just did an affordable haul. I dibble and dabble with ASOS and Amazon and Target, just like all the girls. My issue is I'm a shopaholic. Um, but when it comes to staples in your wardrobe, it is, I just have to give it up to the girls. It is true what people say. Um, the high quality, you know, labeled luxury, but also contemporary pieces are really, really good investments. Now, that doesn't mean you have to pay the cost of a small car or, you know, you know, a small car in Wisconsin or the rent for a studio apartment in New York City for one month. No, I'm not saying that. You can get some of your best pieces from the Goodwill. You can get some of your best pieces from the consignment store. It is all in your attention to detail and making sure you understand fabric. With that being said, you will have to pry this dress out of my pretty little hands. Do you understand me? I will have this dress for the rest of my life and I know y'all are probably tired of seeing this dress over on Instagram. I don't think the girls on, on YouTube have seen this dress really that much. But when I tell you in real life, I wear this dress all the time. If you see me on the street and you see me seven days a week, one of the days I'm gonna have this on. I don't care the weather, it doesn't matter. Now let's just say this. This dress is so bottom heavy. Look how much fabric is at the bottom of this dress. Look, I can just go on for day. The quality is insane. The stitching is insane. There is not a stitch out of place for the amount of money that I pay for this dress. The quality is exactly where it needs to be, in my opinion. I love this dress. It fits me like a glove. I do need to tailor the, you know, the straps, but otherwise it fits perfectly and the sleeves are not flimsy. I do worry about hanging it though because it kind of drags it down a little bit, but otherwise the quality is amazing. So which one would I say is the best? I mean, obviously I would say the cape, but if you've never seen the cape, this Camille's dress, it's, it's a good dupe. It's a good dupe. I would notice, but would the general public know? No, they would be like, girl. And I know you're not necessarily trying to pass it off. We're not into fakes, honey. So, but I do think that, you know, for the look, I think it's good. And it's all also, also from time to time, it's in how you treat things. So some things can be, you know, not the highest quality quality item but it depends on how you treat it if you treat it really well you can have it longer than probably you would something like this this i don't i don't think i'll ever have any problems out of it now that the dupe is out of the way it's very clear that commence was trying to come for k <laughs> it's very clear that commence decided she was coming for the doll she came don't know if she succeeded y'all be the judge of that but there is a dress that is similar to the kate dress um, it's not as long, it's not backless, but it kind of has the silhouette. In fact, when I went to a Westman Atelier event, I love Westman Atelier. I, let me tell y'all something. I love Westman Atelier. Their products are incredible. You should absolutely, if you are not a Westman Atelier girl, you need to be. The quality of the products, I just feel like the best grown woman when I use their products. They had an incredible event. They invited me to. I got to meet and talk to and chat and hang with Gucci from, um, she's the founder of Western Atelier. And I wore this dress and I wore it with my Birkin, you know, and the girls, some girls like thought this was Kate. It's their shit. <laughs> they thought this was Kate. And I was like, you know what? That's a message I can get behind. <laughs> 
it gives Kate energy. I think it's because of the lines and the silhouette. Now, here's the thing. It is so much shorter. It is not backless at all. Also, it's from the Future Collective. I should say, I got an extra, extra small. Because Walmart, Target, Amazon usually runs a little bigger for me anyway. And so I will get, and I'm not an extra, extra small. Like in Europe, I'm a US size six. Okay. Uh, but in the United States, if it has like spandex or anything, I would get like a small, extra small, even excess small. Um, I wanted it to hug my body and it hugs my body. It hugs my body and I love it. It's again, it's from Target. It's from the Future Collective, uh, which is kind of like their Amazon, the drop equivalent. And I love it. Now, here's the thing. It is see-through. It's a little see-through. You kind of need to wear a bra. If you're like a braless girl, I wore a bra with it. Um, I love that it doesn't go all the way down to the ankle because you can wear it or like to the end of your toe because you can wear it with high, like high boots. You can wear it with, I work with like a bomber jacket. Oh, not this one. My Zara bomber jacket. This is actually from Amazon. <laughs> um, I'll link it below because I love this. Um, but I could see myself trying to preserve my Kate. Okay. And wearing this. Okay. I could see myself the Kate in the dry cleaning because it's due for a dry cleaning and wearing the commence and seeing if it gives what the girls needed to give. I could see that. I could see, I could see that. I'm not above it. Okay. I'm not above. So that is the three kind of gray maxi dresses. Like, is it a dupe? Is it a dupe? Y'all let me know what you think about the Kate dress. We know it's way too expensive. Let me know what you think about the commence dress. Is it a good dupe? And let me know what you think about the gray dress from Target Future Collective. And let me know if you think it's a high quality item. I personally enjoy the Kate dress. And I love the Target dress because you can see there are aspects of it that were inspired, but it is a totally different dress and it is by itself, standalone, a high quality piece. I think it's really great. I like it. I love it. I know it's going to hold up in the wash. Um, and it's a seasonal piece, you know, it screams fall. So I'm super excited to add it to my wardrobe again. And I got so many compliments. So if you like these kind of videos, please let me know. Please comment. Please uh, subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.